Well, guys, we usually try to make funny videos, but this one's really serious. Uh, yep. Andrew Tate has just released a very interesting video about getting out of the Matrix. Yeah. And it's just like the movie The Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly the same. So we're not in it. No. He's taught us how to not be in the Matrix. Yeah. How to get out. It turns out it's Keanu Reeves in there and not us. Yeah. But you should watch it because maybe you can get out of the Matrix too. Yep. So today we're going to watch it and um, we'll come out of the Matrix. You can get out of the Matrix. You're not course. going to be in the car, you're not going to be in the credits. Get out of it. <laughs> Andrew Tate, good versus evil. I will say this because I say it on every single podcast. If they lock me up for some insane bullshit. Andrew Tate has been arrested. I didn't do it. They don't say why he was arrested. He cuts it off. Andrew Tate has been arrested. For sex trafficking and rape. But also it's a great thing to say. Like, let's say I've committed pedophilia. Yeah. I know I've done it. I'm just going to tell everyone, you know, look, they're always coming after me. And if I get arrested one day, it's because of this. Because they just want to shut me down. And the Matrix like, hates people fucking children. No. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, man. They hate oh. pedophiles. Oh, fuck. And that's why we've got to fight against the Matrix. Yeah. The system does not make rules for the good of you. It makes rules for the good of the people who make the rules. Do you think you're a force for good? I absolutely not really know I'm a force for good because I'm a force for truth. And truth is a good thing. Without truth, we're going to end up in absolute tyranny and slavery, and we're already on our way. Without truth, we're going to end up with 9-11 all over again. They're going to build the Twin Towers again and oh, bomb them again. No. They're bombing the World Trade Center. From his logic, he's talking about how rich people make rules for themselves. And the World Trade Center is the rich guy. Yeah, so he should be like, good. Good. You're bringing down the Matrix, especially the World Trade Center. What? It, who knows, what, what are they doing there? They, they trade what? Imaginary stocks? They're literally trading codes of the Matrix. Yeah. Or maybe, yeah. no, he is. He's a Muslim now. Maybe he was showing this and be like, see, you can get out of the Matrix. <laughs> you can do it. You just we need can a pile still of do great things. Yeah. I think there's a whole swath of the population, especially young men that feel disenfranchised. It's just this heartfelt music. We're just like 20 bold men. <laughs> We could finally rise up. I mean, they're not all bald, but they've all got a very small amount of hair. This is how they control you. The longer your hair is, the more of a woman you are, and the more matrixed you are. Each of one of these is a line of code. Just a longer bit of code. How would you do that? <laughs> it's like Neo. He's Neo. I didn't realize Oh, Neo cuts his hair. That'd be a great way for him to die if he just put the spark into the back of his hair. There's no evidence in my files. I've done something wrong. Everybody knows I'm innocent. This is a huge injustice the way we see it. They should not be detained at this point. There are not even charges filed against them. Why would you go to Romania? Why would you run away from the UK where you're going to be tried and go to Romania where you're meant to be safe? I don't know. This sad music is making me feel a little bit bad for him. He's not like even bald he anymore. He wasn't even able to shave his hair in prison. He looks like a fucking idiot now. He is trafficking you right now. This is exactly how he gets the girls. What he makes them watch his Matrix videos. Yeah. The Matrix programming says the opposite. They're telling us that to be a better place, all the men need to be weaklings and compassionate without any morals. And they must talk in a very, very uh, soft way. And we need to be very, very compassionate and very, very tolerant and all these things. Makes me so sad. You read his tweets as well. Yeah. And he has like so many weird cell phones from his childhood where he talks about his like dad literally abusing him. Well, it's not cell phones, it's just trauma. Yeah, it's just trauma that he like rephrases in his head as like a really good thing. Yeah. Like, my dad just kept pushing me down for no reason and like I tried to get up and he pushed me down again and actually that's really good. But if you look at history, the only times things were peaceful and nice is when strong men stood up with their swords. <laughs> 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 if you look at history, this documentary <laughs> from <Gerald> Butler. <laughs> is, this uh, uh, is this guy Aussie? Okay, now I like Andrew Tate. If he's Aussie, that's a real, that's a real guy. Yeah, yeah, I've changed my mind now. But he's just so funny. He gets this like homoerotic comic book. He's like, if you look back in history, Actually, men were just super buff oh, and naked. Oh, these hot guys there. <laughs> he looks like fucking Darius from this movie. He looks like the bad guy. Darius is way hotter than Andrew Tate. Darius actually has a nice face. Yeah. Andrew Tate looks like a fucking mole. And it's your duty as a man to stand up and say, I want to be as important and strong and good hearted and God fearing as possible. Pretty sure he could be more God fearing. If like as an atheist, I fear God more than this guy. Yeah, he's going to hell. He's raped all these people. He doesn't, he's not scared of anything. No, he he do not care. And you call the police because of the problem you had. You want masculine men. And as soon as a woman or a man is in trouble, when you look for backup, you look for masculine men. And masculine men. We need hot men. When you have a fire, you don't want some fucking not ripped guy coming out of the building. I want a sweaty guy covered in grit. I want him to have a boner. I want him to. I want, him, I want both of us to have a boner. He's carrying me yeah, out of the fire. He carries you out with his boner. Oh. How is this man not gay? He's just he has to be. You can't hate women that much. 
and not be gay. I hate like, women so much, I just want to fuck dudes. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. That's the best reason to be gay. A traditionally masculine man does things he doesn't feel like doing because it is his duty to do them. He charges into the burning building because it is his duty, not because he feels like it. No one's saying we don't want firefighters. <laughs> People saying men shouldn't beat their wives. Yeah, he's That's like, he's like, don't rape people. And he's like, oh, what happens in a fire then, huh? You don't want a rapist saving you in a fire? Yeah, what's the matter with you? You don't want to be raped in a burning building? You reckon you'd be a better firefighter, let's say you're a pedophile. Kindergarten's on fire. Yeah, fuck kids. The pedophile is going to probably be a better firefighter yeah. in that situation yeah. because he cares about the kids. Also, he won't be afraid to like pick them up in weird ways. Yeah, yeah. Like, also, firefighters like, oh, like, can I hold the kid like this? Yeah, a yeah. pedophile is going to be like, get over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, maybe Andrew Tate's got a point. There. Yeah, true. But you call a cop, you don't want to rape this to come? Yeah. Fuck you, <laughs> pussy. Men who do not control their emotions are dangerous. If you find a man who is stoic, he's not going to hurt people. He's going to sit and think about his actions very carefully, and he's going to be a good man who protects for and provides for his family. You find a man who just acts out on impulse and does whatever he feels like, you're going to find a dangerous man. Sitting here telling men to cry more and act with their feelings and it's okay to feel this way, that way, etc., and have no self-control. The weird thing about this is like his straw man argument only exists in like the niches of Twitter in terms of what he says society is trying to make us do. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then it's like if you actually just go out and live, there's really not that much pressure on no, men to no. not do whatever they want. No. Oh, fuck no. You're free to do anything. Like if you talk about it like what is celebrated by people, it's still exactly these lame traits that Andrew Tate's talking about. Yeah, so well, all the movies he's showing are fucking modern movies. Yeah. Like, it's these, <laughs> these, these men are here. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, this yeah. isn't the past. This is Hollywood like a year ago. It's hard to be a man. You're going to feel bad sometimes. You just suck it up and perform anyway. Not just sit there, you're crying your eyes out or blame other people. That's like that story from his childhood where he like came third in chess and his dad screamed at him and then kidnapped him and took him to a hotel to play chess every single night until 3 a.m. Yeah. It's just like, he's just regurgitating like his own trauma onto another audience. Mm. But it obviously it does have an effect on people on these young boys that are probably, they probably get a little bit of, I can, I need to do stuff for myself or something. But this is so vague. It's not even doing anything. It's literally just like, don't have feelings. Self-loathing. You loathe your own weakness. You loathe your own laziness. This is what all of these things are. I don't feel depression. How can I feel depression when I'm the most powerful version of me that I could ever fucking be? <laughs> I'm gonna be depressed. I'm right, so though. fucking powerful. I could be like, when I drive a car, I, I could fucking do It's like, how can you be depressed if you take off your shirt, you're ripped and you fucking do nunchucks? And then well, imagine watching a video if you stop doing nunchucks. It's weird. pretty cool. I just do not believe that he's not severely mentally ill. Cause like when I've been the most comfortable, the most, the least mentally ill in my life. I've never wanted to scream that at people. I've never wanted to be like, oh, I'm so fucking healthy. <laughs> ah, oh, look at me, I'm just, my mind's perfect. I'm so perfect right right look at me, oh, oh. I'm so good. <laughs> Like, I feel like if you're if you're in control, if you if you've got a healthy brain, you're you're doing what you're meant to be doing. Hey yo, I'm perfect. <laughs> I just don't buy it, is what I'm saying. I, I I think I think you might need help. How can I feel depression when I could squeeze my own hand hard enough to break my own bone? <laughs> How can I be depressed? I'm gonna be depressed if I can. I'm gonna fucking crush my fingers. I could so squeeze my head. I could just. How can I be depressed if I can crush my own skull? Would a sad guy do this? I can do that. Oh, that fucking hurts. Yeah, that oh, really shit. hurts. Right in the temples. How can I feel depression when I've smashed and destroyed 68 people's faces in front of me? You did great, but you smashed odd ones out face in front of like millions of people. You feel like a. I don't know, not depressed. I don't know how to no, make you feel. No, I just felt kind of sad when I when you do it. When you actually realize, oh. I've hit someone and I've hurt someone yeah, and this was yeah. all for no reason yeah. for other yeah. people's entertainment. You feel a bit fucked up. Yeah. And yeah, it made me realize I'm like, oh, everyone that actually continues to do this and enjoys hurting people, you yeah. little bit fucking psychopathic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? Um, you love me. Hey, Andrew takes one of the most wonderful I human beings I've ever met in my life. Mm. I hate everything that's going on. Like, Love them with all my heart. Yeah. Like, I'll die on that mountain with you, bro. Yeah. Let's get on a hill. Where's the sword? What are you talking about? I, I, I'd kill myself. I, I think all these men are just like it. suicidal and they can't talk about it. So they have to pretend it's honorable. They're like, I love you so much. Let's both kill ourselves right now. I feel like men nowadays need an Andrew Tate. He's a guy who's motivating men to be men. I mean, I, maybe I do like Andrew Tate more than Aiden Ross. But he's Aiden Ross. He's a fucking kid. On the he's the other That's inspiration it. to men. That's who, oh, is. who he is. You become Aiden Ross or you become Andrew Tate. Oh, obviously, I've never met anyone who, who wants to be Aiden Ross. I don't think I've met anyone that knows who Aiden Ross is. <laughs> it's so easy to win if you can control your own mind. But it seems that nobody fucking can. 
And that's how the people who run the world keep the world running. I found a flaw in his whole argument. Yeah. Who's the big boss of the world, according to him? Rupert Murdoch. Oh, yeah. Rupert Murdoch. Bold. Bold. Well, he's, he's, probably, he's probably part of Hustle University. How do you reckon yeah. Rupert Murdoch made all that money? <laughs> yeah. He fucking like came up with it himself. Because they have all the slaves exactly where they need them to be. Permanently distracted and semi-depressed. Working their asses off in jobs which will never satisfy them and never pay enough money. That's the matrix. You know he's just listing problems with the world. Yes, I, we agree. Most people work horrible jobs. Yes. Is he a communist? Is, oh. is the matrix just his word for capitalism but then just he's also a hardcore capitalist so he can't say that yeah 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 because everyone hates capitalism it's it's normal it's mm. normal to hate but he can't say he hates capitalism because he loves being rich so yeah. he's just like oh it's some other word some matrix or something yeah. also people are trying to make you gay and trying to make you feel things and I'm never going to feel anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to stare at photos of really ripped men. Well, how do I get, like, a six-pack quick? What's the best, fastest way to get a six-pack? Why does it have to be quick? Why does it have to be easy? Why can't you suffer? If everyone had a six-pack and it was quick and easy, then it wouldn't be valuable, would it? What's value? The value of a six-pack is being fit and being able to it's do being all things. It's being healthy. If like yeah. everyone had it, then everyone would be more, like, fit and productive. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> weird to talk about, like, I only want a six-pack because other people don't, don't have yeah. it. Not because you enjoy sports and you don't eat fucking shit food. That's so funny. You shouldn't be thinking about quick and easy. You should be thinking about hard suffering pain there is value to trying hard things and getting things done and sticking with stuff no? but treating like a six-pack like stocks mm. like a fucking scarce commodity it's just like this is just so strange who doesn't teach you not to try hard at things why do you want it to be quick and easy you're Don't right you understand it, just, how it defeats the mind it defeats the mind is broken <laughs> so someone's already agreeing with you right you ah! Someone, someone's a cuck. Like he's, he's completely agreeing with you, and you're just like screaming at him more. He's like, "Yes, I've got him." Hey, you want to see me break my own hands? Ah! Ah! He talks about how he's mentally stable and happy, and you just you've screamed at his child. Yeah. And Charlie is completely on board. <laughs> yeah. I think that the world's never going to think you're important unless you make yourself important. I think you get to decide what character. It's just the guy from Titanic, the guy who just fucked some rich girl. You're yeah. like staring off in the distance, like, yeah, make myself important. It was he that young when Titanic? Yeah. She was a fucking pedophile. Yeah, she was a pedophile. Oh, he fucked a poor, poor boy who was a stowaway on the ship. <laughs> That's kind of hot. Yeah. Probably I mean, I wouldn't would mind it. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not like Fuck that. up. Yeah. Yeah. He did a good job. He did well. But it's also like, it's not like hair in the wind inspiring. But then she left him in the water to die when she could have just brought him on that fucking floating door. Women are fucked, man. Women are Men fucked. are useless. It's just like, if you don't fight for yourself, no. they're just gonna let you drown in the middle of the Atlantic. <laughs> the people who go, yes, I'm wasting my potential. Those are the ones who have potential. They have a chance. You know, you hear all the stuff that's kind of crazy. And then he says something like that, where he's just like, you got to try harder and reach your potential. It's probably a little bit inspiring for people that are just like, so we need him to say that. Everyone, no, everyone says it. Every that's single guy so I weird. know that's never watched Andrew Tate is like, I'm wasting my potential. It's yeah. like pretty straightforward. It's everyone says yeah. that. Everyone's yeah. constantly aware if they're not doing something to the Apart potential. from us, because we're super famous YouTubers. Over super YouTube famous to do stuff. great things like watching videos <laughs> yep this is my potential baby yeah this stream actually like i'm pretty sure changed like lives i swear to god i hope so it's just so funny having like the testimony of a child is like how do you know i'm doing a good thing like a young boy is obsessed with me so he's the good guy who ruined 48 people's faces and can crush his own fist with his own you should yep. do an idap video on that is that possible crush your own fist crush. i don't think it's possible look i can just squeezing almost as i can as hard as i can but also, where's the pressure coming from? You're talking about like that? That's not that much pressure. No. I could probably like rip my own wrist off this way. Yeah. feel like I could do that. That's a pretty mentally stable thing to do. I think that's, that's like, like, <laughs> This means I'm a happy, strong man. How did he even find that out? But <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's funny throughout this whole video, which is like vaguely about him getting punished by the Matrix, you know, mm. getting arrested. It does not mention what he got arrested for. It's like he got arrested for- Sex trafficking and rape. Being good. Being too good. Being too good, being too masculine for crushing his own hands. Yeah, they said, you yeah. can't do that. He's so. too mentally healthy <laughs> and just too much of a good person. <laughs> yeah. You know, another good way to escape the matrix is to go to www.patreon.com slash boy underscore boy. You'll get one uh, video that helps you escape the matrix every single month. Yeah. And that way, if you're still trapped in the matrix the next month, there's don't worry, because there's another one coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can watch that less, one. And each month it's less matrix. Like the, it's cumulative. Yeah, yeah, the more yeah, of yeah. our videos you watch on the page, the more money you give yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, the matrix just disappears a little bit, yeah. and we slowly get out of the matrix as well. It's good for both of us. Yeah.